What's going on? So if you watched the last video, or even if you didn't, whatever. At the end, I basically said that I was going to continue. I was a separate the video into two parts. So here's part two. So I know a lot of manufacturers marketing. They try. They want to sell you a solution to a pro, uh, a solution in search of a problem. And convince you like, hey, here's this, whatever, you know, you you need it, which makes sense. They're trying to sell a product, you know. I, I understand it. Well, I've kind of figured out a way to combat that, at least for me. So, if say I'm looking online and I'm looking at a product. And it's for whatever reason, I'm like, hey, I really want this for this, whatever, for this camera, for this, you know, my vehicle, my phone, what, whatever, my computer. Um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll find the product, I'll read the reviews, watch some videos on it. And usually what I'll do is I'll put it in like my wish list on Amazon. And I usually think about it for, for a week, maybe more, you know, however long. Um, some things will stay in the wish list for, you know, they've been in there for years. Um, some of them I will think of, you know, I'll think about it and it's like, okay, that, that does make sense. That will, that is actually something that I would be a benefit, you know, either... You know, a light, you know, something I carry every day with me or use every day. It's a better version or it's whatever. But there is some actual benefit that I can, I can actually see to it. You know, it's, if you're using a, a pry bar or a screwdriver as a, as a pry tool, and then eventually you say, you know what, I'm using this, hey, here's this pry tool that I'm seeing an ad for, you know, I don't have a pry tool, my screwdriver is really not meant for what I'm doing, I'm going to break my screwdriver at some point, it's a good quality screwdriver, but I'm going to break it, then maybe you should invest in a pry tool, and that's kind of, I guess, the, the way I like to look at things is, you know, my X100F, you know, I don't... I've looked at cases, I've looked at bags, I've looked at stuff that would work for it, but it's at the end of the day, that's not going to fit my, my workflow with that camera. So that's why I ultimately ordered a little battery, uh, battery holder for it. Because the way I use that camera, my plan is, you know, whenever I want to take it with me on vacation, I'll just stick it in a little drawstring pouch and then stick that inside of my my bag I carry, which I call my, my like my little tech bag, you know, my battery bank, uh, uh, bottle of water, a flashlight, you know, stuff like that. <clears throat> um, just kind of my, you know, if you if you're just gonna stay at a hotel, you know, for the night, you know, you got a, you got enough stuff in there. You you got your phone charger. You got the essential items that you need. So, it's that one bag I can just bring, and it has everything I need. You know, it's based on what I'd leave in the car, it would be, you know, the rest of my clothes. You know, when you go in, you know, you grab out of the top of the bag or in the little pouch on the outside of, like, your normal suitcase or your bag or whatever you're carrying. You know, you grab, you know, a change, a change of clothing something to you know change or whatever clothing you need to change um and some clothes to sleep in or just some clothes to lounge around till you go to bed or whatever you know you know what you know what you do with you 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 know what clothes is for and how you how you do so but um no i can just be very minimalistic in, in the amount of room it takes up just sticking a little drawstring pouch if I'm walking around with the camera you know I have the camera strap on, you know on me so I'm ca you know I'm carrying the camera actually on me you 
the, extra, the couple extra batteries in a little pouch, and that's in my pocket at somewhere on my person. Um, and then I ended up ordering a little battery bank. That way, when I'm out and about, you know, I can either one option is not carry any spare batteries for the camera and just recharge it from the battery bank. Or second option is when you're out for longer than you plan to that day or use your phone more than you had expected to, having a little power bank to be able to put a little extra put a little more battery charge on your phone until you can you know, or the camera, until you can until you get somewhere and you can actually charge So, you know, I, I try and, you know, I try, I, it's, it's good to have a period of evaluation before you purchase stuff, and that's honestly, you know, from spending a couple bucks to a whole bunch, you know, the, the other day I went and bought you know, and I bought some tools, you know, because, you know, when I'm, when I'm away from home, you know, I, I, it's like, you know, you, you kind of need, you need tools to be able to work on stuff, and it beats, you know, having just a, a basic little tool set with you at all times, you know, is good, is, is good to, it's a good thing to have, you know, you can, Instead of having to be, you know, okay, I want to work on, I'm I'm at this person's house, or I'm here, or there, wherever, you know, they may not have a tool, or you may need to, you may want to help them out with something, or whatever, and so, you know, spending a little bit on, to put together a little tool set, you know, it, it, it was beneficial, so, that's the thing, you know, the, Unless you got money, you're just throwing away. You know, evaluate what you're spending money on. Evaluate, you know, what it is you're buying. Um, you know, I can even look at, you know, when I purchased the camera strap for my camera, I could have purchased the the materials and the tools to modify the one I'd bought. Basically, just you know, change out the rope portion of the strap for a longer length of rope, but by the time I would have bought, you know, the the needles, the string or twine or whatever it is, whatever, you know, you would use to sew leather. And whatever other tools I would pick up. Because, you know, I would, I would want to get stuff to later on be able to, uh, to do other things, you know, make other, other items out of leather. You know, like, I may have tried to make a battery case. But, the thing is, by the time I would have invested in all that, you know, I've... I would have spent way more than the strap cost, plus my time. And, in the end, I may or may not be pleased with the results. So, you know, why why go through that? Just... Yeah, and it's like, you know, you have to make that evaluation. What is my time worth? What is what is this worth to, to learn, to do? Is it something I really feel like learning? So, always have a, an evaluation of everything, you know, before you do it. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Till next time.